Hi friends. Well, I'm starting a review today of an air compressor. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I've had an air compressor that I've used in my Jeep uh, for a year, and I haven't been unhappy with it. It's worked good. But uh, a company contacted me and said, hey, would you like to try our air compressor? Uh, the new one hasn't arrived yet. Um, I'll finish this video when it arrives. But here's the deal. Uh, when I'm off-roading, sometimes if it's necessary, I air down my tires to 18 pounds per square inch. And then when I get back to pavement, I'll pump them back up with this air compressor. So I've aired my tire down here to 18 pounds per square inch, and I'm going to time how long it takes for the uh, compressor that I've been using for a year to pump it up to 33 pounds per square inch, which is my highway driving recommended air pressure on my Jeep. So we're going to start the compressor and uh, time and see how long it takes. And then when I get the new one, we'll time it and see how long it takes. And turn it on. It's at 18 PSI and start the timer. We're going to 33 PSI. One minute, 21.5 PSI. Two minutes, 24.5. Three minutes, 27 PSI. Four minutes, 29 PSI. Five minutes, 31.5 PSI. 520, 32. Well, it's set at 32, not 33, but it went to uh, 5 minutes and 20 seconds. We'll finish this up when I get the new one. It was shipped several days ago. Should be here soon. Guess what caught up with me today? Well, FedEx caught up with me. They've been chasing me around Arizona, <laughs> and we've been reshipping this. It's the air compressor that I've been expecting. Let's uh, see what we got. It's heavy. It even says so right there. It says heavy, heavy-duty air compressor. Let's look at the specs for a second. Uh, maximum pressure 150 PSI, 12 volts, of course, hooks up to the battery in your car, 45 amps. So uh, I would recommend running your engine while you're using it. Um, 6.35 cubic feet per minute. Uh, that's why I was interested in this because my other one doesn't pump that much air. We'll talk about that in a minute. 26 foot hose, eight foot power cord, weighs 16 pounds. Let's see what we got. The reason I said FedEx has been chasing me around Arizona is because I had them ship this to the ranch down there in Sonoida, and uh, my plans changed and I had to... Uh, take off and visit some friends up here. I'm currently in Chloride, Arizona, and ready to do some off-roading. Oh, the, the foam is kind of, well, I guess that's uh, that's not on the company. That's on FedEx. Oh, looky here. A nice bag. Zippered bag. Keeps the dust off of it, and uh, if you're using it out in the desert, keeps the dust out of your car when you put it away. Hose. Screws onto your trader valve on your towers. Oh, that's a quick connect. Instruction manual. Oh, 
great. Look at this. It snaps on your tire, so you don't have to stand there and hold it. And this thing, it's substantial. It's heavy. Ah. It says 16 pounds, and I believe it. it seems to be well made. Clamps are uh, heavy. Nice. On off switch, and what's that? A breaker. You uh, tax it too much, it'll protect itself. Same stats as on the box we already read. And what's this? Oh, it unscrews filters, air filters. Another good thing in the desert. But the real test is going to be how long does it take to blow up my tires. So I got it hooked up and test number one is, will the 26 foot hose reach the tires all the way around without moving the compressor? And yeah, no problem. Even a lot more. And obviously, it'll reach the other side too. Oh, look at there. I almost kinked it, but it's a good hose. It didn't kink. I also put the uh, this thing, screwed it into the Schrader valve attachment so I can just clip it on the tire. But first, I have to air my tire down to what I did before, 18. I didn't mention that it has a gauge in the hose also, and I watched some other reviews of this, and it said that the gauge went to 250. This one only goes to 150. They've made an improvement. Uh, when it went to 250, the uh, marks were so small that it was difficult to tell down here in the range that we do with our tires. So only going to 150 is an improvement. I'm going to clip it on the tire. I have aired down to 18 PSI. And before I start the compressor, I'm gonna go get my iPad to time it. So I'm set up here. Uh, each little mark on here is 25. So 32 is gonna be mark and a half past 25. Got the uh, iPad ready to time it. Aired down to 18 PSI. Oh. Whoa, it's already going up there. Can't be that fast. Oh, more pressure in the hose than in the tire, probably. Maybe have to shut it off to see what you actually have. Well, right there, I'm at what I gauge to be 32. Halfway between 30 and 35. Well, let's see what we really have. Oh, the timer. Fifty four seconds. That can't be. No, it's only twenty. It's only twenty eight. So the, the pressure gauge there is measuring more because there's more pressure in the hose than there is in the tire, otherwise the air wouldn't be moving. That makes sense. So we have to continue the timer. And pump it up some more.
I think once you figure out the ratio between hose pressure and tire pressure, where you actually need to go, it won't be a problem, but it's a little misleading that this registers more than the tire actually is. I'm going to shut that off again. On my thing, it was measuring um, up into the 40s. But what's actually there? Oh, did I shut the timer off? Yes, I did. A minute, 24. Five seconds. Oh, I'm up at 30 to 34. In a minute and 25 seconds. Dang. So that means that unlike my other compressor that I used for a long time and was fairly happy with, 21 minutes to air up all four tires and this one, uh, Six minutes for all four tires, a little bit more because you got to move the hose from tire to tire, but still, six minutes to get me from off roading back onto the pavement. I like it. 6.35 cubic feet per minute, it pumps. So I'm wrapping up this hose. And liking it some more. I've got some other air hoses. They're just a pain to wrap up. This one, hey, <laughs> you're seeing me do it. It's flexible and working great. I'm going to stick that right in there for now. And uh, this didn't get warm. I forgot to start my car engine, so that wasn't a problem either. But I would recommend starting your engine when you're running it. I only did one tire. If you're doing all four, it might be different. Uh, the brand is Gobege. G-O-B-E-G-E. Gobege. -E -E. Go Heavy-duty air compressor. I imagine they'll probably be giving me a link. If not, I'll put my own Amazon link on it um, down in the description, and uh, maybe they'll give us a discount. I haven't figured that out yet. Thanks for watching me today. Yeah, so they gave me a discount code. Use it on Amazon. Links below. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.